Here we are. Yeah, man. All right, so I'm making, so I flipped the salmon, all right? So the salmon, um, it did a hot cooker or a hot marinade. See how it's already starting to cook a little bit? That's because of the acids in the red wine vinegar, okay? So um, I did my butter trick. I got my butter so it's just starting to melt. And I'm gonna put that on top. Whoops. That's nice. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. All right. I don't need that arm, right? It's way too much butter. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. All right. So my butter trick didn't work as well as it used to. Doesn't need to. As long as it's on the crest of the fish, it's going to run down. Um, there's a lot of fat on the base of the fish. All right. All um, right. Then we're going to come across the top of this now. Um, whenever I make a, uh, a fusion or use heat, I like to go multi-level. So um, we could go paprika here. Um, and also, so we're going to go paprika, which is a very light level, right? All right. Remember, we have to end with the chocolate, okay? So we're going to go very light with the paprika because smoked chipotle goes way better with chocolate, all right? And it will help, it'll help in the area we are, we're, we're missing tannins from a cabernet. If I was going to make this in a restaurant, I was telling some foodies earlier, Eugene Foodies, hey guys, um, that um, uh, I would use a cabernet um, if I was in a, um, in a restaurant setting because cabernet and um, chocolate go really well together and Cabernet chocolate and strawberry is even better so here we are all right so I got the oyster mushrooms picked off just nice little tips a little bit of butter in the pan okay let's put a little bit more butter in the pan let's use some of this butter yeah see nothing goes to waste and then well, I'm going to turn you over here and you're just going to have to watch me make a coolie from a distance all right and everything's got its time too and then I'm going to show you how to make some uh, some cool curl things off this big this block of chocolate I got. I got a pretty big block. Normally you have to have a full block to get really good ones off of. It's a baking technique where you take a knife and pull it across the top of your chocolate, and it curls it. All right, so um, hopefully I got enough. Yeah, baby. Ow! Ow! ow. Barely enough liquid. Whoa, 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 whoa. This pop worked better than that other one. It's got a smaller bottom, it's got a nice round to it see the nice round and it's actually really helping last time i did something in one of these i got all mad remember roasted red peppers or something all right but there's still chunks And we put this over here, and we go to um, da -da 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 -da. something to catch it in. And I got my strainer. Here, I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, we're almost on go time with the fish too. All right, so there's our foamy strawberry cruelly. All right. And then I'm going to run it through. Relax. You can do anything. I'm going to run it through my, um, this. As soon as I found it. This. 
Okay. So we have empty container here. Just gonna let some of that go right through. Make a bright orange color. I mean bright pink color. All right. I'm going to set you guys down a little lower so you can see what I'm doing. Um, also, my, my body's starting to fight me a little bit. So, I'm tired and this is a complex dish. And my, 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 my clarification process is having issues. Thank God I don't need much of this coolie for what I'm doing. I had to look over and see what was sizzling. Oh, you can't see my head. Okay, so now we have a strawberry coolie in the bottom there. And I only need a couple ounces. And um, yes, I'll use that for other things. Um, Whenever I make a, oh, it tastes really good too. So here we are, our bright pink strawberry coolie mangoes, a little habanero there. Okay. Oh, I do want to take a little coolie and put it with the mango chunks. Okay. Just a little bit, because I'm gonna. That's gonna turn into a salsa. That's enough. Okay. So I want them, see how they just got a little bit going on there. Okay. And it's itchy, itchy. A dash of red wine vinegar. Okay. A dash. Salt, a dash, just to get the flavors going, because we're gonna do one more thing here, and we're gonna go, oh dang. I don't like it when I say oh dang. I was gonna put an oil in there, oh. oh. to steal some oil from over here. I want a half a teaspoon of oil. Okay. And then I'm going to take my toasted fennel seeds. Put that in there. Okay. Oh man, that has such a wonderful smell to it. All right. And the fennel will actually help bring out the chocolate a little bit. All right. So let's finish. Put this in the oven. A little more salt. A little more old bay. No, I didn't forget. Smoked chipotle. And... I'm gonna put some just of the just of the raw strawberry right in with the uh, right on top of it. All right, little drizzle on top. Okay, a little bit around the sides. All right, this is where I start thinking about the fusion and how it's gonna come out. All right, habanero, hero. All right, this is fused up. All right. Pop it in the oven. Um, we got it on um, on broil. Okay, now let's uh, prepare to set our plate. We're going to. I'm going to yeah, 
Yeah. Perfect. All right. Carrots take longer than uh, the uh, green. All right, I'm going to actually stop it because, yeah, I'll be back.